must be vigilant and smart. That's what Donald Trump tweeted this morning in reaction to the attacks in Belgium. So joining us right now in the Good Day Chicago studio is Kathleen Murphy of the Illinois Opportunity Project. Kathleen, thank you so much for joining us on this very tragic day. We're talking about 28 people. The number could be going up. Killed in Brussels, terrorist attack. Do you think if Donald Trump is elected president, he could handle a situation like this? Right now, um, he's, he is projecting himself to be the one who can do that. He's called for tougher um, national security. This certainly refocuses the conversation on national security. It benefits him and, and Ted Cruz in this race because Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders have called for open borders, which is, is frightening to people in the face of something like what we see this morning. This attack happening, of course, just one day after Donald Trump was in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C., meeting with a number of top GOP yes. um, officials there, as well as tapping his first several members of right. his foreign policy and it's hardly a who's who it's you know it, they're not a flashy group but I like them they these are substantive people they are business people they are think tank people they are economic people and a lot of our foreign policy over the next 10 years is going to be carried out um, economically we're not going to invade countries as much as go into um, economic warfare especially in oil and intelligence so I like this group I think it, it's a it's a positive it's been said that presidents when they don't know they surround themselves with people who do know so who's the smartest one that he has tapped on the shoulder to run of course foreign policy be in charge of his foreign policy and what to do when to do it well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a call about who's the, okay. the most intelligent one, but I agree with you I'm encouraged by the fact that he is putting people around him that seem to be very intelligent very knowledgeable on policy um, because we've seen that he is very general on policy to at best he's not been specific these are people who can really take us into a specific policy after something like this happens a terrorist attack like this happens mm -hmm. internationally do you think this is going to help or hurt with voters that he's trying to get to vote for him because you want to hear the details now right um, I think it does help him because he has been he has called for the closed borders that kind of thing has an appeal when people are frightened um, about what might be coming over the border if terrorism is coming over the border I think that his speech yesterday um, also helped him it was the first time we saw an attempt at a presidential Trump um, APEC is a very uh, there is not a more foreign policy oriented group a more serious group on foreign policy than APEC um, especially on Israel they wanted to hear specifics they wanted to hear um, they, they wanted him to address the concerns they had about him going into this um, he, he with his um, he said he'd remain neutral for example between Israel Israelis and Palestinians that's a concern for the American Israeli um, political action committee um, so in he at least gave it um, a, a serious attempt Kathleen Murphy thank you so much thank for you. joining us here live thank in the you. Good Day Chicago studio it is